Community mobilization. For the implementation of your outpatient therapeutic program, you will need to ensure that the community that you serve is aware of the therapeutic feeding services that you are providing and feels comfortable with bringing children to be screened and to take part in the program. For this to happen, you will need to do effective community mobilization before starting and during your OTP program with your volunteer community health workers. We are in SNNPR region, Alaba Special Wereda in Kobbok Abeli, and volunteer community health workers are explaining about the opening of OTP in the health post for the community leaders. The community leaders and the volunteer community health workers have agreed in arranging a meeting with the community to inform the opening of OTP in the health post and to do the pre-screening for malnutrition. The volunteer community health workers with the community leaders go around the Gote and inform the community to bring their under five children for pre-screening at the center of the Gote in the coming day. During the community meeting, the volunteer community health worker elaborates the causes of malnutrition for the community, stating that severe acute malnutrition is mainly caused by inadequate food intake and or illness. Severe acute malnutrition can be effectively treated at the health post level, and Alaba Health Post has already opened an OTP to treat the cases. In order to identify children with severe acute malnutrition, MUAC measurements should be taken and the presence of edema should be checked. Any suspected cases of severe acute malnutrition should be sent to the health post with referral slip for further evaluation and treatment. The volunteer community health worker is doing the pre-screening and those children with MUAC measurements of greater or equal to 11 centimeters and no edema are sent to their homes. The volunteer community health worker has found a child with mid-upper arm circumference of less than 11 centimeters, but the child has no pitting edema. He will then inform the mother to take the child to Alaba Health Post for further evaluation and treatment. He also provides the mother with a referral slip, and the mother agrees to take the child to the health post. The volunteer community health worker has also found a child with edema. He checked for edema by pressing his thumbs into the swollen foot of the child. Thumbs leave indented marks, and this is a sign of severe malnutrition, and the volunteer community health worker refers the child for further screening and treatment at the health post. Home visits are good opportunities to identify children who missed the pre-screening during the community meeting. During the home visit, the volunteer community health worker identifies one child who missed the previous pre-screening. The mid-upper arm circumference of the child is measured, and it is less than 11 centimeters and has no edema. He informs the mother to take the child to the health post and provides her a referral slip. The mother agrees and takes the child to the health post. It is important that families in your community understand that treatment for malnutrition is not an indication of social status or wealth. They should feel comfortable with bringing any child whom they suspect might be malnourished to be screened. Families should bring their children to the health post for further screening and treatment, and they should be well informed not to be afraid or think it is a curse, but that it is treatable and that the chances of their children surviving are high.